Hello, I'm Martin, and this is a demonstration of my master's thesis called Stripes, a conceptual operating system user interface. Now, if you're not familiar with that term, you can think of Stripes as something like Windows or, or Mac OS X or your favorite distribution of Linux. It is a core piece of software on your computer that allows you to run applications and open up files and uh, browse the internet, for example. Now, I do want to emphasize that Stripes is a, a concept. It is not a real product. What you're seeing here um, is a Flash prototype that I used for, for testing to see whether or not the fundamental uh, ideas behind Stripes worked at all. Now, I'd imagine that one of the first questions on your mind is, is why? What is wrong with the computers and their interfaces that we use today? Well, the short answer is that there isn't anything wrong per se. It's just that the role of the computer has changed so much in the last 20 and, and 10 years that I, I felt that the interfaces weren't optimized. They, they weren't in tune with uh, the role of the modern computer. Now, there were eight specific design goals for Stripes. Now, I won't go into all of them, but I'd really like to emphasize that um, I, I wanted Stripes to be a very, very simple yet efficient interface. So it would be easy to use for, for those who are unfamiliar with it and yet uh, provide a lot of power for, for those who, who want to be as productive and as efficient as possible. So that being said, let's take a look how Stripes actually works. What you see here is the login screen. There's a pretty picture and um, some information like uh, the date for today and uh, the current time. And I'm just going to log in um, by clicking anywhere on the screen. After logging in, we enter what I like to call uh, the launcher. Uh, the launcher is a dedicated space for, well, <laughs> you guessed it, uh, launching stuff. There's a, um, a list of applications and uh, files and some websites that are visited, presented here in the launcher for convenient access. There's also some space for applets, uh, which are basically mini applications that provide uh, relevant information for the user, um, such as um, today's calendar events or the status of my mailbox. Um, this is something that, that is very convenient to have right after logging into the system. There's also an action bar up here, uh, which you can use for searching uh, for application names or file names, uh, maybe your website history. Um, you can also use it as um, an address field. So if I wanted to enter Google, I could do so conveniently um, right from the, from the launcher. Now this is a prototype, so there aren't that many applications and files and websites available here. Um, obviously, in a real-life scenario, you would have a lot more apps and a uh, ton of files and uh, lots of uh, websites you've visited. Um, the way these lists are compiled is based on the individual popularity of each of the items. So, for example, if I use the Internet browser um, every day in my life and uh, other applications uh, less often, the, the popularity of the Internet browser is higher um, in relation to other apps, and therefore it is uh, base, uh, it's placed high up in the list of, of the applications. This means that uh, by using the system, by using Stripes, it eventually will learn the habits um, and, and the patterns that, um, that you have. So it is able to provide um, fast access to, to the apps uh, or the files or the websites that, that are most important to you. Now let's go ahead and open up an application, for example, text editor. Now most applications contain what I like to think of as a mini version of the launcher called the Springboard. The Springboard in text editor uh, allows for creating new documents and new notes as well as opening up uh, recent documents that have already been created. For example, this uh, grocery list. Now, as you can see, the application window itself is quite simplistic. There's only a close button here in the top left-hand corner, 
as well as a, a vertical menu bar here on the right. You can return to the springboard at any time by clicking this little triangle button here at the bottom. Now let me briefly explain how the menu bar works. Uh, the menu bar contains command groups uh, such as file and edit and view uh, just like any other uh, operating system. The interesting thing about the menu bar in Stripes is that it is contextually aware which means that it can react to selections uh, made in the in the document. For example, if I wanted to uh, copy this word bread into a new document, I could select it and as you can see the all the commands that I can apply to this particular selection are are uh, being presented here. And so I can click on copy to copy the text to uh, the clipboard and then um, create a new text document and simply paste uh, the word in. Uh, now, another great feature uh, in the menu bar of Stripes is that you can search for commands. For example, if I wanted to convert this particular document into plain text format, I could um, simply search for the word plain, uh, find the particular command, and uh, confirm the conversion, and I would have a plain text document. Now the concept of popularity that I was talking about earlier on in the launcher is also used uh, in the menu bar. For example, in the internet browser here, you can see that there are four commands being presented to me on the front page, if you will, of the menu bar uh, because these are commands that I have been using extensively uh, while using the web browser. So in other words, uh, the system has picked up my habits of using these four commands and is now presenting them to me uh, up front and center uh, for faster access. Now if I changed my habits and uh, would use some other commands for some reason, uh, the system would again pick up this change and um, present a another list of commands accordingly. Now as you've probably noticed, uh, the application windows in Stripes are not placed in a stack like in other traditional computer interfaces but rather in a row. Now this ensures that application windows cannot hide other application windows underneath them and therefore none of them can be lost. Now you can navigate within the row by clicking on the next and the previous application window like this. You can also get a complete overview of the workspace by going into the overview mode. Um, in the overview mode you can rearrange uh, this, the application windows within the row and you can also create new rows of windows by dragging an application window above or underneath the current row. Now this feature is unfortunately not supported in this prototype. Now this has been a brief introduction to the fundamental features in Stripes. There's quite a bit more to it, so if you got interested you can read more about it or play with the prototype at www.martinkimple.com slash stripes. So thank you for your time and your interest and I hope you liked it.